Hello, Scorpio. It's Erica here to do your love story reading. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Or if you have a lot of Scorpio or water in your chart, this may resonate. This is, as all my readings really are, a timeless reading. This could be something that you are going through right now. Maybe you've already been through this situation, and maybe you will be going through it in the future. So this is very specific and definitely will not resonate for everybody. So it's either going to resonate or it's not. And I do recommend going to check out the other videos that make up your chart. They can often resonate more than your sun sign. And the star is jumping right out to say hello. Um, and cross watchers certainly can flip it. But I do recommend with all of these small love zodiac readings that I do, I really recommend going to check out the Venus and Mars transits playlist because those two planets transits really affect what's going on in love. So whenever you're watching this, go check out that Venus and Mars transit playlist because you'll see, depending on what date you're watching the video and what's going on for you, you'll get more context to this shorter reading. I also recommend checking out my recent videos. Whenever you're watching this, go just click on my playlist or, or on the my channel, look at videos and see recent ones because you'll get other messages that will help this resonate even more, have you have a greater understanding of what could be going on for you when it comes to love because it's what we're swimming in in the, in the cosmic pool of energies. So those will help you get more out of these particular readings. Um, so I definitely recommend checking those out. And with that, we're going to get started. So the star card wants to come out. So this is about hopes. This is about destiny. This is about healing. This is about the stars aligning. So Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you and whoever you're watching this video for. And feel free to switch the... Um, Switch it around however it fits. And like I said, guys, don't make it fit if it doesn't. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Hermit, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Judgment card. Okay. So Scorpio, let's see what's going on. So this is you. This is the other person. This is the dynamic between you. This is recent past. This is what's happening in the current energies whenever the scenario is happening. And this is what's coming in in the near future specific to your love story. So with this, let's see what's going on. Let's tune in. So there is something here where um, it looks like you guys probably are not in communication at this time um, as this is happening. But it looks like that's about to change. There is some news and some communication coming in here with this page of wands and it's almost like there's someone like you here you here Scorpio is like you're ready to move a relationship forward whether you're making the offer to this other person or they're making the offer to you it does feel like it could be you only because of again feel free to switch it but whoever this person is Scorpio it's like this person's ready to make an offer maybe they've made an offer um, to somebody here and they might not see this offer really coming. They might not know it's on its way, but then there is some communication here. It could be that this person is guarded and they're not sure what they want to do. And with this communication, it might be a little bit conflicted here. Um, it could feel like maybe this doesn't go like you expect Scorpio. And all of a sudden it brings up this fear of abandonment and this fear of rejection here. Um, but there is a lot of love between the two of you, or there will be a lot of love between the two of you with this queen of cups. But it looks like this person may not see this offer coming. They're good on their own, but then they're trying to figure out they might be guarded against you for some reason, Scorpio. And they might also be trying to figure out, do they want this or do they not? So it's almost like, there's new information coming in that makes them go, wait a second, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do here. Let me, they might be a little closed off and they're closing off their heart a little bit through this communication could cause you to feel like, oh my gosh, do they not want my cup or what's happening here? I don't understand, but I feel like they do want your cup because it's here in the dynamic between you after you have this communication.
um, because this person, it's like this, it feels like this person's going to decide to open up or not. But in the meantime, it might bring about a little bit of, oh crap, what did I do? Should I not have offered this person this love? Let's get some more to the story. Why is the Knight of Cups here? And the Queen of Swords. So yeah, it could be that you um, are offering this cup to this person because you've gotten some clarity and you've cleared some, you've cleared the deck to be able to do this. You're bringing this um, offer in because you're very clear and you don't want to be, um, and you may have gotten rid of things in your life that were not suiting you anymore. And you're ready to bring your cup to someone that does. See why this Queen of Pentacles is here. So here comes the communication to her. See, she doesn't see this communication coming. Or if she, yeah, she may not have the awareness of this. Um, tell me why the Hermit card is here. And we get the Magician. See, it's time to make this happen. There's been um, this energy of being apart, but now things are changing. Now's time to do something. Enough thinking about it. Now's time to act. So there's a manifestation that's coming after a period of solitude and self-discovery. Tell me why you're getting the Five of Wands and you're getting the Hermit. Okay, and why they've got the Four of Pentacles. And they're Five of Pentacles. See, that what's happening is like this is happening and it's, it's causing you both to go <gasps> like freak out. Oh God, am I going to be rejected? So this person's not opening up to you here with this communication. And it's probably not what you expected where you're like, maybe you thought that this person would accept your cup because you've been very decisive and clear, but all of a sudden it's like their reaction could surprise you. That makes you all of a sudden pull back your energy a little bit with this hermit card. Like, what is going on here? What This is not what I thought. What am, what's happening? And this, because it's triggering this person's fear of um, abandonment, they might be closed off because they're afraid of being abandoned again. Maybe if you have a past with this person. And if you don't have a past, it doesn't matter. It's still possibly triggering their fear of abandonment or their inner child wounding here. Um, let me see why this page of wands is here. And the world see the communication is that there's an enlightenment here um, about the fact that you guys are through a cycle that's over this could be the completion of a journey where you've been apart and now you're going to be together you want this to happen you're ready to go forward you um you know there's something big here you're ready to embark on a new journey together because we're getting the world and then the magician so it's like to me, this feels like this communication is about what you've discovered and become enlightened about. And I do feel like there could be a follow, a lack, almost like, is this offer for real? Or is this just another small attempt? I feel like that's what this person might be feeling, whether it's you or the other person. Remember, vice versa. But what's happened then is this person's closed up guardedness is triggering your guardedness, Scorpio. So let me see why you have the Five of Pentacles. Why does Scorpio have the Five of Pentacles? Justice. Yeah, it's almost like this, you Scorpio, again, I'm just assuming this is you, but obviously it could be the other way. Um, you might be feeling like this is karmic justice for whatever may have transpired in the past between the two of you. Like, oh, see, I blew it before. I treated this person not so great. They're closed off to me now. And now I've got this. Now I'm getting rejected because I screwed it up so badly before that there's no chance this, this will happen. Let's see um, why this other person has the judgment card. See, they really want this with you. They want to start fresh with you because there is love here. But it's almost like they're afraid to get in their happiness. Tell me why the Queen of Cups is in the dynamic between you in the near future. See, it's again another 10. This is about closing out the cycle from the past that was over with. 
where it feels like this person, these two queens energies may have been on their own and feeling like they were alone in this whole thing. Because here's that new truthful beginning with victory. So um, it feels like if you've got this going on right now, just know that this is sort of the the instinctive response right now. But it does. It looks like it's going into a beautiful new direction. So let's see get some more cards here. Let's see the recent past. Surrender to the divine. Mm -hmm. This is about going like this is faded. This is what is meant to happen. And both of you have like surrendered to whatever the divine is. This person looks like it, they may have thought that, well, whatever's supposed to happen will. Current energy at the time this is happening. Your commitment is being tested. See, this is about you still have a little bit to work through both of you around what you really want. How badly do you want it? So things, this conversation may not go very swimmingly at first. And so this is about maintaining that higher consciousness throughout. Let's see where it's going. Don't let pride get in your way. So this is closing out a cycle where pride has gotten in the way. You know, this person being closed up because they're afraid. Maybe they said they wouldn't open up to you ever again, and all of a sudden they you you reach out, and then it causes them to connect to their feelings. You're thinking that you got karmic justice because maybe you hurt them in the past, and maybe this is what's you know you got what was coming to you, Scorpio. Um, let's get a card for your energy about where things are going. There's balancing spirituality and practicality, and where's their energy about where things are going? You and your loved ones are safe. See, this person is afraid to open their heart. They don't know it's safe to open their heart to, but it does look like they're going to do that. Um, and for you, this is about like, you know, I need to make things right. You want to make things right with this person. You want to heal the situation. And you want to make, like, fix and balance everything that was out of balance before. And let's get another card of where you're going between the two of you. You are good enough. See, you're both dealing with a little bit of this um, unworthiness piece. And it's showing up in the cards with these five of pentacles. And it's like one of you triggers the other to feel it. Then the other feels it. And then it's like, oh my gosh. But it does feel... Yep, they need you need to let go of this unworthiness. Both of you do both of you. So I'm going to leave you guys with a guidance card. So Scorpio, what's the best guidance for Scorpio here with this reading? What's the best guidance for Scorpio? For getting nature, ground yourself and abundance. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. This is about you staying steady, even though your commitment might be tested, Scorpio. Get clear get grounded. This is part of what you're supposed to be doing here because you're supposed to be enjoying your life. There's a lot of abundance coming, but make sure you ground yourself. Don't let yourself get caught up in the fears and the unworthiness. Okay. And one more piece. And here we get friendship. This is part of your soul family. This is where you may need to start off slowly and reestablish the trust between you with simply a friendship. This is about you getting out and maybe spending some time together. I feel like that's going to ease a lot of this five of pentacles energy for both of you. So with that, Scorpio, I hope that was helpful. And do go check out the other readings. Until next time. Bye.